Nolo here, July 24, back from vacation, a day when Senator Leahy's Judiciary Committee heard testimony from Alberto Gonzalez, and importantly, the ranking Republican Arlen Specter called for special prosecutors to investigate White House obstruction. The resignations of the U.S. Attorney has placed a very heavy cloud over the department. There is evidence of low morale, very low morale. Uh, lack of credibility, candidly, your personal credibility. The department is dysfunctional. And on White House efforts to block subpoena enforcement by contempt. If that is to happen, the president can run the government as he chooses, answer no questions, say it's executive privilege, he can't go to court, and the president's word stands. Now, we've been exploring some... Uh, some alternatives, and I'll be asking you about them. The Attorney General has the authority to appoint a special prosecutor. You're recused, but uh, somebody else could do it. You're recused because you know all of the principles. You have a conflict of interest. Your refusal is understandable. But doesn't the President have an identical conflict of interest? Can the president foreclose the Congress from moving ahead and making an effort and having a judicial determination as to the propriety of the claim of executive privilege? Well, let me ask it. whether on this refusal to prosecute that the administration talked about whether that extends the executive branch lying to Congress of perjury or destruction of evidence or obstruction of justice. Would you permit the U.S. Attorney to carry out the law and refer the matter to a grand jury as required by 2 U.S.C. 194 and therefore um, fulfill the constitutional duty to faithfully execute the law? Or would you block the execution of the law? Mr. Chairman, your question relates to an ongoing controversy which I am accused from. I can't, I'm not going to answer that question. Is there anybody left in the Department of Justice who could answer the question? Of course there is. With who? respect to these kinds of decisions, who will be made by the Solicitor General? To the recent opinion seeking to justify Harry Meyer's contemptuous refusal to appear before the House Judiciary Committee, the Justice Department has been reduced to the role of an enabler.